Okay, here we are. I'm gonna work out there before we go. We're doing burgers today, so I have to get the extra in. Uh, welcome to the chamois, guys. What are we doing, Johnny? One, two, three. Burger, Burger week with the chamois. Here we go. Oh, it's always good, eh? I love you guys. I'm glad you're all tuning in here today. So uh, what we got here is we got an 80-20 chunk right there. I hand press them up real quick. Not too bad, as you can see. A little pepper, a little seasoning salt, all that fun stuff. We've got some fun fixings. We're gonna do a donair burger, a donut burger. Uh, Regular burger, just the old fashioned fancy burger, chamois style. Um, I know you're thinking glazed donut. Mmm, geez, what's he doing? No, just let me cook it for you. It's gonna be great. So, uh, give me a second here. I'm just getting this cast iron revved up. Come on back, and we're gonna get at him. Here we go, guys. We've got the 80 20 going into the pan. Look at that. Look at that. Now, what you gotta do here with these, you guys, is I remake these, of course. But you gotta just give that a little bit of a squish, guys. Squish that out so it's nice and thin. You get that crisp happening. You can also set a bit of weight on this thing if you'd like. <clears throat> get that crisp building down on the bottom. So I just push that out real nice. Get that rocking and rolling as you can see. I'm gonna give that a second or two there. Ouch! No, Ooh. just kidding. Just kidding. It's not that much. Jeez, don't scare uh, me. Sorry, John. You're like, oh, that got over the bar burn ointment again. Um, I burn myself all the time, man. I'm just glad I, yeah, I just, you know, uh, two fingers off the knife there last week, but we're good to go. Um, so here we got this glazing away. You want to show them the fixings while we're hanging out here with this to cook up a little bit there, John? Oh, look, we got some black olives. That's going right in that Donair burger. Have a look at that locally sourced lamb right there, right off the farm here, about 20 minutes from town. Pickles, we got some peanut butter, we got some strawberry jam. We, I know what you're thinking, that's icing sugar. Uh, we got some uh, locally sourced peanut butter, some fixings, some cheese. I'm gonna show you how to make an extra cheesy one. Oh, look at that, that's gonna be good. Yeah, so this is just doing a thing, you guys. We wanna just crank that up a little bit more. Get her cooking, so we've got Burger Week, August 2nd to August 8th. That's what we're doing this for you guys. We've got Burger Week with the Chemis. Can't wait, 2nd to the 8th of August. We're doing the Juicy Lucy, we're doing a breakfast burger. We got a couple other surprises in there, give or take. But we do need some ideas, like I said earlier, we, we need some ideas, uh, so if you get a chance, Send us, uh, send us your contraption, your concoction, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be good. I just love a burger. The only bad burger is the burger you didn't eat, right? That's right. right yeah. Oh, I love burgers. I tried them big burgers. I tried to do a big big burger here, six patty. You ate it, you got it for free. But uh, I, was, I was close, I'll tell you. Wasn't I, John? Oh, so close. Oh. I had like two or three bites left and I couldn't do it. I was gurgling. I was like this, Joanne kind of had her arm around me and uh, pretty much had to roll me out the door. It was that bad. It was kind of, you know, doing that danger crouch kind of semi crawl where it's like, oh, you know, like you're hiding from uh, somebody's knocking on the door and you don't want to answer that kind of crouch. You know, you get down, scurry to the bedroom. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, it's going to be good. Give me a few more seconds here, guys, and we're going to rip this first burger up. As you guys can see, we got the Donair burger going. We got that thing live. Here we are guys, you're back, you're back. Have a look there, you guys are doing the Donair Burger up. You would not believe how great it smells in here, guys. It's fantastic, I just love it. That's gotta be one of the best things about cooking is just smelling everything, eh? I think 80% of it's just the aroma. It's fantastic. Um, we're doing the Donair Burger first. Been dying to do this one and show you guys, it's so good. I run a little homemade tzatziki, made by Johnny. Joanna made that for us. Fantastic. We also have a sweet sauce too, we do. But we're going with the tzatziki. And uh, we topped that with a few things. We're going to top the Donair burger. We like it this way, Swiss or provolone. Provolone's got that nice, just a real nice, uh, kind of a semi-pungent flavor. Just really goes good with that Donair burger. It melts burger. beautifully. It melts beautifully. Oh, it's it. nice and thick. It scratches. It scratches. Yeah. So, that's what we're up to. It's cheesy. It's time. It's time. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look at that, you guys. This is going to be so good. I'm so pumped for burger week. Burgers are my favorite. That's my all-time favorite food right there is burger. I love it. I just, well, oh, burger time. There we go here, guys. Got that going air meat doing its thing there. Oh, it's going to be so good. Just crisp that up a little bit. That's a little resource lamb. Oh, nigger meat. It's good. And um, <laughs> I had too much coffee, I think, today, guys. I'm sure glad you guys tuned in to hang with the Chemis, I'll tell you. I just love you. I love all the support and everything we're getting. I always mention that. I know I sound like a broken record, but 
I just really appreciate everything everybody does. It's just awesome. So we are uh, just going to let this cook and I'm going to prep the bun. So we'll see you in a few. Hank, you guys eating this donair burger with me or what's going on there, girls? Get the nice ladies here in the kitchen today. How's it going? Coco just has a shower here, having a little shot of water or whiskey there? No, just a coffee. Oh, well, that's good. And we got a little brookie here. We are uh, rocking and rolling, guys. The Donair Burger is coming along just fantastic. So here we go. We're going with the Provy. Provolone cheese, as you can see. Mama's favorite. Oh, Mama loves that. Mama loves that. <laughs> so do I. So do I. Now, we're just letting that do its uh, thing there for a second, guys. And I'm going to pull that this Donair meat off. Don't take very long to cook that don't air meat. But you do want a little bit of a crisp on it. Oh, we lost one here. We never leave, we never leave no, no chunk of don't air meat behind, I'll tell you what. That thing ain't gonna have to soldier on alone, I'll tell you. I'm daughter. I'm on top of it right there. See? Let's get our propylene straightened out there. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here. And it's a good trick. Let this little bit of stone air meat do its thing here, guys. Oh, I just love you guys. I'm so glad. Look at the grease here, you guys. This is fantastic. Even the floor is slippery. I can't believe it. Okay. That stone air meat is done. What we're going to do here. Just let that do its thing there. That bit of moisture there and that grease is just going to help steam that cheese up and finish cooking that burger off real quick. Now, you got to be careful when you grab that, folks. I'll tell you what, that's going to be hot. So, I'm going to use this. As you can see, now Johnny's been speaking to me, wipe the grease up, it looks bad on camera. You know what, I don't care, we're cooking. And it's burger week with the Chemis coming soon, August 2nd to the 8th, I cannot wait you guys. I need some ideas. We're doing a Juicy Lucy, apparently originated in Minnesota. Big Wendell Dyer give me the recipe there, or give me the idea I guess. But it really is no way. I, I don't do recipes, you know that. My recipes are a little of this, a little of that, a little here, a little there. Works so great. But we are going to try that Juicy Lucy Wendell and I'll tell you what, it's going to be good. Apparently it originated, like I said, in Minnesota, and uh, kind of where you stack all the cheese in the center and build the burger around it. I can't wait. Maybe we'll put a couple chunks of bacon in there, maybe a little bit of shrimp, shrimp on the bottom, stuff like that, and they go. It's gonna be good, you guys, can't wait. Let's just check in on this here, John. Oh, look at that, you guys. There you are, there you have it, right there. I'll tell you what. If I had a boy, I was gonna name him Donair, but I uh, ended up with three girls. There we go, guys. Let's have a look here. Now, what we gotta do is just warm this bun up, as you can see, in it goes. Look at that cheese melt, John. Look at that cheese melt, I love this. Look at the grease, look at the grease, I'm loving it. We're just cooking here, you guys, that looks fantastic, I'll tell you what. Now, I do this with the bun, just to warm it up, soak up a little of that grease for some flavor. Now, whatever you put in your donair burger, it's gotta be what you like, remember. I'm gonna use black olives, some onion, of course I got the cheese, and some homemade tzatziki made by Johnny. It's gonna be great, but that's the way I like it. I also like banana peppers, but uh, quite a little bit of heartburn here from the weekend, so I'm gonna stay out of the banana peppers. But um, if you like tomato in it, lettuce, whatever, carrots, put it in, don't matter. It's uh, with the shams, it's all what you're doing. Now give me a second, I'm just gonna make a break here. Look at the grease from the floor, it's on air I could almost skate. Okay, let's keep one of these nice plates right here, so. Okay. Just like that. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are tuning in. I love it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, this is just about there, folks. Just about there, folks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A little bit of grilly there. A little bit of grilly happening. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, this. Oh, it's kind of crispy there. Look at oh, oh, all that stone air flavor. All that juice, I'm telling you. Loving this. Loving this. So, now what I do, guys, give me one second. That's there. Tzatziki. Lots of it. Lots of it. Now another thing I'd like to do here, you guys, is I run a little mayo in there too. Just to make it a little extra creamy, because that's just perfect, like, you know, I love that. You can put ketchup, anything in it. It's your own air burger, right? Mmm, don't tell anybody I did that. I just slam a few pieces in there, and I slam a few pieces in here, just like so. Burger wheat with the chamois, right there. Just oh have a look at that hanging. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Coco Chef, look at that. I'll tell you what, it's cheesy. It's good. In it goes. In it goes. Oh, I drive them all right into that cheese, as you can see. And I just give her one of them, some onion in there. Look at that. Oh. There you have it. I'll take it. Absolutely, you're going to take it. And I'm just going to pull this off here, as you can see. 
Donair Burger. Wait, John, don't go anywhere. Johnny, get me on cam doing this. Have a look here, you guys. Oh, look at that. Now you can put lettuce, anything in there, anything you want, just the way I like it. I do my little pink, that is a fresh ground. I did grind that earlier this morning, so I like it a little bit, just a bit of pink in there for me, and it's perfect. Johnny likes it like that too. We had a burger like that in Hawaii, and ever since then I haven't ate them any different. Some people say, oh, you're eating that, but I did grind it, so it is fresh. Mmm. Oh. Like, oh. Mmm. Mm. So good, guys. I apologize. I'm gonna have to let you go because I'm gonna eat this. But the Don't Air Burger, there you have it. Sheminar is so good. The next one I'm gonna do for the kids, I'm gonna cook it a bit longer. It's gonna be great. Come on back. We're doing the Donut Burger. Here we are, guys. Have a look at that. That's an 80-20 truck I ground up this morning. Just have a look at that. I'll tell you what. That's what I prefer to use. It's just great. And this one here now, we're doing the Donut Burger. Oh, oh, oh. My faulty. My faulty. There we go. See, you, when you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and you're working hard, you gotta be able to troubleshoot. And uh, just kidding, there's no stress with me cooking, you guys know that. Um, we're just gonna brand this burger up here and get ready. Now on our Doni burger, the donut burger, I like to put peanut butter, strawberry jam. You can put cheese, we don't like cheese, we just like to do it with the strawberry uh, jam and the peanut butter. A little bit of icing sugar and I call it good right there. And I'll tell you what, I know what you guys are thinking. It's like, uh, I know, don't want to, uh, but trust me, just that peanut butter, hearty, meaty, oh, all that combined together in that glazed donut. I love a glazy donut, it's so good. Mm. You got glazed donut all over your face. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you're looking, uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, this is cooking. I'm gonna doctor this doni up. Have a look here real quick at the doni, John before I doctor it up. As you can see, it's just a normal glazed doni. Oh, oh, I like those, I'll tell you. Open it up. Now a little grease is good too, but that's okay. So I, like I said, peanut butter, strawberry jam, a little icing sugar, and we go to town, we go to town, we go to town. Uh, you can put whatever you want on though, if you like it. Yeah, if you want, uh, you know, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard on there, whatever you want, HP sauce, do it. We'll be back. This greasy mess here. Geez, I'm slipping on the floor and everything here, boys. I'll tell you what, if I go down, Give me a hand here. How are you doing there? You guys are back? Right on. Right there, 80-20. Now this one I cooked a little bit better because the kids are going to kind of get into it. Oh, look at that. You guys got a little bit of a casualty there, but I'll tell you what, that's where that goes right on top. Just like that, as you can see. Fantastic. Now, right there. Give me a second here, guys. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, remember I made them before. You didn't really eat them. You weren't, I don't know where you were golfing it's, or something. It's I can't remember thought. what you were doing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I love it. I love the sweet and the salty. It's kind of like, you know, kettle mm. popcorn kind of that theory. It's good, you know? And then I just just put a little bit of strawberry jam in there, just like so. Okay. Mm. I love licking the knife. Okay. <laughs> that didn't sound That's good, did it? That's not good. Not good. Okay. Hit her with a pinch of that icing sugar. We'll stack the little next one in there just to peek through the hole. Okay. And as you can see. Oh, look at that, you guys. That, now, I always use a honey glaze, but you can use a sugar donut. Okay. If you want to use sprinkles, go for it. It don't matter. Use an apple fritter. It's all good. So I like, I had this at a restaurant in Calgary, I believe, on a layover one time. I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out and let me try this donut burger, and I loved it because I like that sweet and salty. I'm that guy, I put eggs on my pancakes, you know, that guy. And uh, so it's good. Now, give me a second here. Watch this. I'm going to get messy, folks, and I hate to do this in front of you because it's so good. And that's the best part about this is, you know what, if, if, if you need a bath after you've done something right, Mm. That peanut butter with that burger is incredible. Now it's extremely hot. <laughs> you have to bear with me here. It's dripping everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Oh. Hmm. Chloe. Come in here, everybody. It's Chloe. Chloe, come on. You guys? She's not wanting to try it. Donut that. burger with the chemis. It looks good. Mmm. Chloe, it's so good. And I always put another one on top there to peek through the hole, as you can see. There's the donut burger with the chemis, guys. Fantastic, I love ya. I'm gonna finish this, and I'm gonna show you the Cheesy Louisies coming next. Ooh. And just so you know, we uh, got Burger Week, 2nd to the 8th of August, and these ones will be crossed off the list now that I've done it. Just have a look. Have a look at that catcher's mitt. Johnny, Johnny, have a look at that catcher's mitt right there. Messy, messy, messy. Park. 
Good. Here we go. Easy, little easy. Come on back. Burger week with the Chemis. August 2nd to the 8th, look out. That's an 80-20 right there, I'll tell you what. I make them good. Into the pan. Look at that. Oh, just like cavemen during Burger Week, I'll tell you what, that's good. Just get in there, make a mess, eat. Get your wooden club out, have a good time. You better be hungry. You better be hungry. Okay, perfect. Cut. Thanks, John. Here we are, guys. Get ready to do the Cheesy Louisey. I'll tell you what, I'm loving it. Chloe's loving it, we're all loving it. Hey, Coco Chef. Cheesy Louisey coming your way right now, boys. Right now, boys and girls, I'll tell you what. There we go. Look at that thick cheese, I'll tell you. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh. Love that, love that cheese. Ooh. There you have her, top corner. Now the reason you do that, folks, is it just finishes cooking that burger and it melts that cheese, it melts that cheese. There we are, you guys. That's the cheesy Louisi coming your way. Just give it a second and it'll be ready to go. Who's next? Did you pay, sir? Yes, sir, that's it. Way to go. Uh, right there. Did I pull it with that? Perfect. Okay. Oh, you're filming. Look at it, it's all smoky in here. I'm loving this. Oh, just perfect. Just like a food truck, eh? You should be skinning the food truck. Um, let's have a look here, Coco. See the water? You spray a little water in there, guys. Cap it real quick and it just melts that cheese up. You don't have to fight so hard. And uh, like I said, like I said, let's have a little. Okay, this is just about ready. Now, folks, have a look there. Now, I love this uh, mustard pickle onion concoction mm -hmm. with the mayo and the ketchup mm -hmm. mixed together. Then we're gonna lettuce that, tomato that, and away we go. That's why I like it. But a good thing to do is if you take these pickles and you pile them in a bowl, fill it full of mustard and onion, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you what, roll them into the pan. Just dump it right in the pan, just, just briefly, just enough. Warm the mustard, uh, give everything just a good warm, quick warming back into the bowl and it just brings out the flavors, the heat always, it's like pepperoni, if you nuke it, it's spicy, if you don't, it's not. Same thing, same theory, it's just fantastic. Okay, give me a second here, guys. Oh, oh. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Uh, excuse me, Coco, could you please snap some pictures of that real quick? Now, folks, listen here. This is what we like to call the Cheesy Louisi. You can use whatever cheese you like, but I like to use some of this processed stuff. It's big and thick, you can cut it thick. You can mix it into pasta, do whatever you're doing with it. But it's just absolutely fantastic. And it's so thick and creamy, I just love it. So I'm just gonna slide that off there. Have a look here, folks. Have a look there. There's the cheesy Louisi. I love you, you love me. Thanks for hanging out with the Shemmies. That's incredible. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have to let you guys go because I gotta hug a burger. And uh, remember, August 2nd to the 8th is Burger Week with the Shemmies. Um, and uh, you know what? I, I just I can't even eat that in front of you because that that'd be just that's like that's up there with cruelty to animals. So I can't do that. Um, anyhow, you guys, it's that good. Burger week with the Shemmies, August second to the eighth. Let's go.